Look at this. Look, I'm not going any further. I'm not going any further, right? Because this is ridiculous. Like, yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Pat, we're back with another video. And today, we've got the request video for the throttle controller, which I'll prove to you guys. It's not a placebo, man. It's real. The why? The reason why I'm squatting right now is because I'm trying to face the sun, so I can try and get the most light possible right now. Because it's getting quite dark. But yeah, here's my car. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna be hopping inside straight away because it is obviously inside and obviously I have to show you everything to do with it. I'm gonna leave the door open so I can get some maybe light in here. Like you can't even see me, can you? I'm gonna try my best here to try and keep all the um, light, light coming in so I can actually show you guys some of it. I'm gonna use my phone as a flashlight because my flashlight's actually run out of battery and I can't find one for the sake of the video. But yeah, actually, you know what? Quickly before we start, I just wanted to appreciate everyone who's actually subscribed to the channel. I'm literally watching it right now. We're just getting two subscribers as we, literally I was speaking. I don't know why. Maybe it's one of my mates or something. But it's on 193, we're on 195. Absolutely fantastic. And I appreciate all of you that have actually subscribed. Obviously, all our videos are here. I do watch them from time to time because I love my own content. Some with me, like, ever since I've been making videos for YouTube, is, like, I've always been watching them back because I feel like if I can't watch them myself, then how are you guys going to watch them? You know what I mean? But yeah, let's start off real quick and show you this so this is the throttle controller right here right i've wired it underneath the dash right here and it goes all the way there to the uh, to the throttle pedal this throttle controller is called aclope it I got it from ebay for 30 quid any single nine drive controller is called nine drive so any sing any throttle controller that says nine drive is basically good for the job right let me quickly just go on ebay just to show you guys look at that beautiful background man look at this let's do let's go on here type in corsa uh throttle controller look at that look at that that's the first one on and that this one be perfect you know what i mean all right it's got everything you need obviously it's a nine mode that's what it's called they are called six pin like thingies let me just show you the one that i've actually bought so it's this one so it's an, is they're called 809 right that's what you need so you go on this this here it's called 809 nine mode car controller throttle controller right it says controller pedal accelerator fits dodge and jeep right which is bollocks because if you go into the description right here and you scroll all the way down to where it says voxel right you zoom, ooh, let me try and do this with one hand you zoom in right right there it doesn't say corsa anywhere here for some reason but literally it's right here and you can see it fits the corsa and you can see from which year from 2006 2019 all engines and it's under the bloody nissan tab yeah for some reason fuck knows why but it is like it's opal voxels right there and it's not here you know what i mean but it is here so it is compatible the corsa and astra as you can see there basically every single car's of electric throttle controller like pe pedal will work let me just show you guys underneath there actually so this controller goes all the way to the bottom which obviously goes underneath the trim into the back and as you can see there's some this cable's hanging here, right? And it, it's actually right here. And I'm gonna show you real quick with my phone because it is quite dark. Right, so we've got the phone as a flashlight. And as you can see, that's the box right there, right? That box right there plugs into the back of the throttle pedal, right? So let me try and get in there and I'll try and explain to you guys how it works, right? So the GoPro's out and as you can see, there's a little red plug there, right? The red plug comes out literally you plug it in the box that it comes in, which is this here hanging off. You plug it into the red red connector, as you see there. Hang on, let me try and get some more light. As you can see there, it's a red plug. You plug it into there, you plug into the box, and the cable from the box, you have to wire it all the way down, under the dash, and obviously to the control itself, which is right there for me, all right? So, the installation on that couldn't be any simpler. It comes with instructions, right? I would wish like to show you guys how it works obviously yeah but it's legitimately like impossible like if I sh like guys if I had to like go under there right and try and fit my hand and the camera at the same time it's literally impossible I've tried to do it before and I've got footage on my phone and I can literally show you like but it, it makes no difference like it, I can show you it but it won't help anyone because it's so like 
I packed in there, I cannot fit a camera, a flashlight and my hand in there to get it all plugged in. It's literally like a red clip. So you might see it on the same in the engine bay, right? You've got a little red clip, you literally hold, you pull that back and then you pull the whole thing out, the plug out. You plug it into the obviously throttle controller that comes from eBay, wherever you get it, Wish, AliExpress, whatever. You plug it back into the actual pedal itself and it just hangs there. And then you connect obviously all the way to here, which is obviously right there. You've got all the different moulds, right? So let me go through these real quick. I'm actually close the door because we're actually going to look at this for you guys, right? So you've got a normal mould. The normal moulds obviously have the car come stuck. Obviously, if you want to keep that. P1 is like the first mould that I use all the time that saves fuel and it's like kind of like more aggressive. It's quite smooth with the gear changes and stuff like that and obviously how it accelerates. This is obviously sports mould, which I can actually give you a little quick example, right? Please don't roast my dead crepes, yeah? These are my driving shoes, yeah? I, I cannot drive any other shoes. I don't know if it's like... I don't know if you guys have the same thing as me, yeah? But I have one pair that I have to drive in unless... If I don't drive in these shoes, I cannot drive. Like, I tried to drive in different shoes last week and I nearly crashed. Like, I can't control the car for some reason. And I don't know if it's the pedals or if it's me being a stupid idiot. Like, you know what I mean? But these shoes are my driving shoes, so please don't roast them. Please, because I don't have any other shoes. But anyway... <laughs> Going back to this thing, yeah, this is sports mode. You got, for, obviously you go from zero, so for example, let me just go back, yeah. So it goes from 1.9, it goes all the way down to 1.1, and obviously you get the gist, yeah. The, strong, the bigger this is, the stronger the effect of the mode, yeah. So obviously this is race mode. Let me just give you a quick example. Oh, that's 2.1. And as you can see, my foot is right there, right? In order for me to give an example, I'll use the same technique for every single one. So I'm gonna literally push it to about there right that's 2.1 right let me give you another example with the actual speedometer right try and not cover it right look at this that's how fast it goes up to revs right all right now let me just literally turn this up to 2.9 for the experiment sake of this video and as you can see i'm going to do the exact same thing with our foot and look how much faster this goes up like the effect is immediate. Like, if I go into race mode, yeah, which I do not advise using, yeah, unless, unless you are Lewis Hamilton, yeah, or you don't want to block the engine, don't use this mode, please, right? Because, listen to this, right? It legitimately over revs. I don't know if you just heard that, right? I'd literally tap the pedal, right? It's on 3.9, look at this. And look how much this goes up by. Bro, it revs so quickly. Like, I'll show you in a sec, legit on the road, like the difference, right? The difference in 3.9, like you can't even switch gears. Like you, you go from first to second and it will literally over rev by like, I think 2,000 to 1,000 revs every single time. And you will not control the car, so it's pointless to use it. But it's not a placebo. People say that it's placebo, but it's not. And I can prove it like, it, the only thing I can say is literally just try it. I've done two cars now. My coach is a Corsa D, so I can confirm it works on the Corsa D 100%. That's obviously whatever year, I think 2006 onwards, I think, to 2014. And, and it also works on the Corsa E, which is 2014 onwards, because then on my mate's car, and I've asked him just for the sake of this video, and it works 100%. Like, I asked him for an update, and it works, right? So it works on the Corsa D and the Corsa E. And I'm guaranteed it works on other cars as well. But I've only tried it on those, because that's the only ones that I've got opportunity to put them in. But it is 30 quid like just just get it like it improves your car a hundred times you, if you type in the throttle controller right you've got a lot of american videos that come up and these guys have done it in like jeeps and like because these are for jeeps usually i don't know why but jeeps some guys done it in this modified i think it's like a nissan i think 350z i think something like that like there's a lot of americans that do this and there's none in the uk for some reason but if you want to install it it's so easy i can do a whole separate video and try try my best to do it but it legitimately is going to have no outcome that will suit you guys and help you with the installation of this because it comes with instructions on how to do it anyway so you can't go wrong depend on your car when you're where your throttle pedal is i could not help you with that unless it's a course of d i can tell you exactly where it is and the course of e they're both in the same place literally right above the throttle pedal you take out the original plug plug it into the box that comes the box that comes you just get one wire wire it all the way to your dash somewhere so obviously you can plug it into this little box here and then man you're set honestly you're set i'm, I'm gonna go into eco mode because this is ridiculous right look at this it's on e eco mode one so look at this i pressed it for and it barely revs look at this 
that's me flooring it. Look, it's not even working. Like, if I go into Eco 9, it's just to prove to you there. Eco 9 now, right? Look at this. <laughs> this is me flooring it. Look. This is me fully putting my foot down. Look. You know what I mean? Like, it's. Oh, it's quite dangerous to drive. I'm not gonna lie. I've stalled on it when I used it for the first time just to like check it out. And I did stall, so I don't advise using eco mode. If you want to, you can, but it's a lot of getting used to. And in my opinion, like the best mode right now is 1.9 for me. 1.9 because it's the strongest of that level, but the level is like kind of mixture of race and eco. Like it's literally no, not race, sport and eco. It's like in the middle, so it's like quite smooth acceleration and it sounds nice as well. And it pops like sometimes like from the exhaust because obviously if you've got a straight through, obviously with a cat, then it'll it'll make obviously the, like sometimes the extra pop of the system, which sounds quite nice. It's not like obnoxious, not as ball, you know what I mean? So. I'm gonna get get you guys on my head and show you how this works and obviously prove it to you. I might actually position the GoPro onto the speedometer because it's more important to kind of see the speedometer than it actually is to see the road. So I'm gonna get back to you guys and do that. Peace. So I'm gonna go into normal mode first in order to obviously show you the guys the difference of what it looks like. So if I show you my speedometer from here, right? So I'm gonna just start driving slowly just to show you, right? Oh, that's a seatbelt. Told you forgot about that. Always wear your seatbelts, kids. There we go. So now, that was normal mode, right? I'm gonna show you each mode in its highest, so it's in its lowest, and in its highest, just to obviously be fair, if you know what I mean. I can't just like show you one mode on P1. Obviously, I'm gonna switch the mode so you can see. There you go. I'm gonna go in the lowest mode on every single one. We're gonna go through them real quick. Yeah, so okay, this is P1.1. You got one first good help. See what I mean? It's instantly more responsive and it's weird. It's proper weird how like it works. Like it, it it's kind of like it kicks in instantly. Now we're going to P2.1. See, that's when it starts to kick in, like, that is so rapid, like, <laughs> I can't describe it to you guys enough, like, the acceleration, man, this is an 86 horsepower car. All right. There we go. Now, 3.1. I'm dreading this. I'm dreading this one. I hate this one because it's so, like, like, over the top and you don't need it. Look at this. Look, I'm not going any further. I'm not going any further, right, because this is ridiculous, like, I, I legitimately just put my foot down a little bit. I didn't even floor it. Right. I'll show you a f one more time of that. I'll show you that one more time. But I'm going to show you my feet this time, yeah? So look at this. That wasn't even my foot, yeah? All the way down. I don't know if you saw that, but that was not my foot all the way down and it's already accelerating crazy. So I'm going to put it into normal mode because the car hates the flipping sports mode in reverse for some reason so i'm going to show you a little acceleration right in for example my favorite mode yeah which is one point that bearing in mind that was 1.1 1 .1 on every single one right so it's 1.9 2.1 3.1 right i'm going to up all these yeah to the max because this is like people don't realize how mad this is like look at this i'm you know what just for the sake of this video i'm going to go into 3.9 and show you because if you if you can if you can believe in this one you believe in all of them right so i'm in first gear as you can see 3.9 foot all the way down like up right with the brake on handbrake on i'm going to literally just go not even launch like try and launch or anything like that like keep the clutch up i'm literally just going to go slowly 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 I'll quickly show the revs See what I mean? Like, mate, it's, it's ridiculous. It's asphalt. It's it, it makes your car accelerate rapid. You know what I mean? But I, I'm I'm sticking with my mold, which is 1.9 or 2.5, because that's max I can find find this mold that actually works properly. This one is should be illegal, banned. You should not be able to have this one because it absolutely makes a car turn into a really Formula One racing car. 
and it's pointless in my opinion. So I, I'm gonna go into my mode that I usually go in. I'm gonna reverse back into the spot. So from that video that I just showed you, the small samples, you, if you don't believe me at this point, you gotta just buy it yourself and do it for yourself because there's nothing else I can show you that can prove it. Like it's not a, it's not a placebo effect like everyone says. It, the car is instantly a different car as soon as you install it. Like every single mode jet is special, like for itself. Like 1.9 is one that I use every single day to obviously save fuel and stuff like that. But if you want to be that guy and use 3.9 and 2.9 whatnot, be, be my guest. You know, what I mean, you, it's pointless though because the car becomes like quite like irresponsive in a way that like sounds cheap because it's meant to be more responsive but the way it works like it over revs all the time for the such a small engine and for a 1.2 man it, you saw it it goes up to like 4,000 revs with like literally like what 10 meters of space like i'll put my foot down a little bit and it'll go like all the time so it's crazy but if you want a more thorough video maybe of me explaining how it works make sure to drop that in the comments as well because hopefully this is enough for you guys you know what i mean i don't know if there's much more that i can actually say or show in order to prove that it works obviously it's this one is confirmed working 100 percent of the Corsa d and Corsa e so you guys can like if you buy it don't worry about it it's going to work 100 percent it's 30 quid it transforms the car instantly i could not i personally could not drive without it now i'm so used to it like being so responsive and so good now even for a 1.2 liter engine i can i could not live without it it's always going to be in my car i'm probably going to take it into the next car as well that like, just like every single mod and obviously do videos on that pardon me subscribe yeah because subscribing is amazing when i see subscribers go i'm so happy like you I, I can show you guys we went up two subscribers from the beginning of this video let me quickly check my phone because if this went up one more time then obviously i'm going to be even more shocked but it shouldn't have went up so it's still at 195 and obviously we're going up slowly slowly but surely that is obviously trying to do one video a week if you guys like this content please leave a like leave a comment for future videos subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace